Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson here, independent Sensi consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Now we're nearing the end of the month and as you can see, my bin is full. Nothing else is gonna fit in here. So it's time to delve into it and do the second half of July's empties. So let's delve into it quickly because I don't know how long my phone's going to give me. It's quite full and every time I've tried to do a video lately, it keeps trying to cut me off. So let's see if we can get done. So I put in the toilet area. It is separate from our bathroom. It has no plugins for warmers or fan diffusers. So what I use on the windowsill is generally a fragrance flower and the Scentsy Go, and then I have a few room sprays on the go to spray after someone's been. So I opened up the Fiji Flower Fragrance Flower. This is just a very pretty tropical flower. It was from our Paradise Collection, so it's no longer available but it was probably my most favorite scent out of the paradise summer collection that came out also out of the paradise collection i used up the counter clean in mandarin mango and nectar now i love our counter cleans this particular one i wasn't too crazy about the scent but saying that I did sample some of this out and then I used the rest of this. And one of the customers that received one of these samples actually went back and brought more and told me how much he actually loves mango scents. So just because I'm not a fan of a particular scent doesn't mean someone else is not gonna love it. And for me, I just think I'm generally picky with mango scents. I love mango scents, but I'm also picky with them. This one, has a note on the back end, kind of soury to me. Chili mango has like this cooked, overcooked mango scent with the chili in it that I don't like. Go go mango, on the other hand, give me that and I will warm that any time of day. So as I said, it could be just me being picky with mango scents. My customer really loved this scent. She went and purchased one herself and a dish soap. So I do know just because I don't like a scent doesn't mean someone else isn't gonna love a scent. So one scent I do absolutely love, which I used up, was our dish soap in Cider Mill. I am currently voting like mad to get this scent in Bring Back My Bar with our current voting round. Don't think it will come back though. It hasn't reached the top. 12. I may be lucky enough to get it back as one of the 10 runner-ups that you can put in Sensi Club. Never know. But this is crushed pumpkin, apple and spices. And if you're wondering why there's a pump on this dish shape and your dish shape doesn't come with a pump, it's because I've actually taken this pump from our Scent Soft or our laundry liquid and put it in here. It's my son's job to do the washing and they can be overly generous when it comes to washing up detergent so i just find this with a pump system kind of slows down their usage so they're not over using it and it's not as messy so it was my son's birthday and my daughter's birthday last week and they got some buddies which means we have some scent packs that went in there buddies so my daughter received a scentsy friend which we put very bright in she also received lady and the tramp which come with their own signature scents of faithful friends and my son received nelson the narwhal which i put jammy time in so I used up a Scentsy Soak in Luna, which is Jasmine, Sweet Pea, Berries and Sandalwood. This went out in samples in my Happy Mail and in goodie bags 
for any customers that hosted a party to their guests. So this was used mainly for samples. It's a very pretty, sweet floral. Used up a pack of CounterClean. Love, love our CounterClean. Cod, sorry, cotton cleanups, not counter clean. So I used up a pack of cotton cleanups. This to me is the easiest way for me to clean my warmers out, and I have a lot of warmers, so and it will one cotton cleanup will probably do two or three warmers in my household because as well as having a lot of warmers, I do tend to do at least two cubes in the bowls, sometimes more because I love my fragrance to whack me in the face and pretty much want to knock me out. So Shimmer was a laundry liquid that I finished using up. This is a sweet, perfumey, musky scent. It was in our clearance section, sold out pretty quick when it came in our end of year clearance section. Berries, white musk, basically and it reminds me of white mask from the body shop so i had a red light globe in my jack skellington warmer it has blown and i replaced it with a clear light bulb mainly because i've gone through my stash of light bulbs and i do need to do a reorder but i also have been noticing the colored light bulbs don't tend to last nearly as long as the normal light bulbs. I had a 20 watt, watt light globe blow. I can't remember what warmer it blew in, but I replaced that obviously. So we had summer holiday in the car. Totally lost its smell. It's been replaced with blue grotto. So that looks like we are now on two pods. So in my daughter's room, I currently put in some sugared strawberry pods. Sweet and girly. I was trying to aim for something sweet and vibrant and bright for their birthday week because my daughter and my son that had their birthday recently share the room. So I will talk more about that a little bit more with what waxes I popped in there so I've just taken out of the laundry the blue agave and melon pods totally used up this was a scent that surprised me from the paradise collection I would have thought it would have been too green for my liking very cactusy but I think the kiwi fruit in this was kind of its saving grace and sweeted them out and made it something that I really enjoy and ended up putting the bar in my Scentsy Club just so I can warm it in the laundry and bathroom. Instead of being a green scent, I find it more clean and sweet. So let's start talking about our wax, shall we? So we're going to start off with my open concept area and when I talk about my open concept area I'm talking about my lounge room and my kitchen they kind of run in together so I either usually warm the same scent or I will warm complementary scents and it normally takes up two bars in that area so what's currently warming is was sale wonderland which is orange zest lemon peel and cinnamon stick over fresh pine now to me i did have this in my sensi club it has been taken out only because when it came into clearance for five dollars i couldn't justify keeping it into sensi club for ten dollars each when i could pick it up for five dollars each and i picked up a bunch of them I ended up with nine or ten. I think I'm down to five. So I've gone about halfway through this winter because to me it's something I would warm more in winter. But it's also quite a beautiful Christmas scent because it does have the pine Christmas tree 
note and the cinnamon that you get but then it's got that bright orange peel adding like that fresh citrus note so as well as being wintry i found it's one that i quite enjoy as a transition scent so if i'm transitioning from summer to winter where you've still got warm days but it's not hot and it's starting to get cool this works really well and from winter to summer so that's when i've actually used this more than in winter which i thought i would use it more in winter and it's starting to get a little bit warmer here in mount isa but it's not warm enough for me to want to go full-on fruity or full-on citrusy so this was a nice i guess compromise it's long lasting it's strong for someone that doesn't like citrus i love this one so and i think it's that cinnamon that sweetens it and that pine note so as i said i still have about five left and i probably won't reach for this one again until christmas time when i want something christmasy going i might warm a bar or two in christmas time and then it probably won't be reached for until we're transitioning back into cooler weather and then i'll use it in cooler weather so i've got enough now to last me for christmas time and next year now what i did though was because it is so strong i did use two cubes of something that was left over which i will talk about a little bit later because i haven't got to that mixture yet so as i said our weather's starting to warm up a little bit but i'm not quite ready for your full-on tropical fruity bright summery scent yet so i did a mixture of toasted marshmallow and bonfire beach so and this was a beautiful mixture and it's the first time of me actually warming bonfire beach so bonfire beach is toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint while sandalwood harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray and toasted marshmallow this summer staple goes gourmet with hints of smoked caramel and vanilla bean malt so this one i could warm all winter it's toasty, it's warm, it's comforting, toasted marshmallow is. It's a little bit smoky, rich and sweet. Bonfire Beach, when I first got a bar of this in my Shooting Star kit, I wasn't a big fan of, but I've since come around to appreciating it. And I think it's got, because it's got that salty sea air note, it's not as rich as toasted marshmallow you still get that slight marshmallowy sweetness but then it's a lot fresher because of that salty sea note so you get a smoky salty sea air with a little bit of a sweetness and i think because the weather was warming up it toned down the richness of the toasted marshmallow and made for a very good transition scent i don't know that i would warm bonfire beach by itself while i like this as a mixture i would probably use bonfire beach more as a mixture personally myself i know there are people out there that it's their favorite scent but for me i enjoyed it i didn't love it but i liked it as a mixer so the next bar I warmed in the open concept area and this was on my two-year-old's and my nine-year-old's birthday party just to get us in the theme 
and this is what I also actually complemented with a sale Wonderland. So I had two cubes left after I warmed this comp of Perk Me Up, which I put with Wasal Wonderland. So in the kitchen, I had Wasal Wonderland and Perk Me Up. So I had this coffee orange vibe. And then the lounge room had Wasal Wonderland. It was really pretty and I loved it. So, but on my daughter's and son's party, I did a bar of birthday wishes and perk me up i'd had a very busy week so i needed the coffee scents to kind of wake me up and birthday wishes is just a rich sweet vanilla cake it's a lot stronger in the clamshell than it is warming i think i prefer happy birthday for a stronger richer smelling scent but it was a very pretty even don't get me wrong it's in my scentsy club still while i make up my mind this has a very pretty vanilla base which could be mixed with anything and it hums nicely in the background i will say it's not long lasting and this combination was very pretty what makes me sad though is Perk Me Up was my last bar of a coffee scent. And I really do enjoy coffee scents. I did have it in my Scentsy Club for a while, but I did take it out because I wasn't using it much because it does have a nutty note. It's got a hazelnut note to it that I would have preferred it not to have. So I'm still on the hunt for a coffee scent that I'm going to fall in love with and want to keep. And... Since you don't do that many coffee scents, so hopefully at some stage they bring out a coffee scent that I'm going to want to absolutely love. So I will just quickly read you the scent notes of Birthday Wishes and Perk Me Up. So Perk Me Up is wake up and start your morning to a caffeinated fragrance of the perk me up coffee so it's got a hazelnut note to me in it or a almondy type note it's got some type of nutty note that i kind of wish wasn't there and it was just coffee and birthday wishes is rainbow sugar sprinkles and a sweet surprise to comforting cake batter and whipped vanilla so In the open concept area just move this out of the way I have all my empties in the way here there we go now you can see me again in my open concept area I did two bars of Halloween town this is in my Scentsy Club we still have one label to collect and I was considering after we collected this label taking it out but then I warmed it again and I'm like no it's in my scentsy club for a reason I absolutely love this scent I love it more warming than I do cold I will tell you that and it is described as everybody scream from a sinister potion of cranberry apple and spiced with cedar wood concocted in the dead of night so it's deep it's dark it's woodsy but there's this sweet warmth to it when it's warming as well and it kind of reminds me like a corked bottle of red wine love it love it love it if you missed out on this spoiler alert it will be back with our harvest collection along with Jack's Obsession and a, another new bar from that they're concocting for The Nightmare Before Christmas. So that could be your chance to grab it then. But this is to die for. It is beautiful. I do like Jack's Obsession a little bit more. But this is one, to me, again, 
very wintry and I think that's why I had such a stock up with my Scentsy Club and was considering taking it out because it's not one I am drawn to in summer but in winter yes yes and yes so let's talk about no we've still got one more that was in my open concept area so I did a combination of apple picking, which was from our Harvest collection last year, and Autumn Hearth, which I picked up in a D stash. So on cold, Autumn Hearth is very spicy, like it hits you in your face, cinnamon, and not a bakery cinnamon, like a red spicy cinnamon. And I didn't think I would like it. Apple picking is like crisp autumn leaves. The sweetness of the apple as you tread on it as it's fallen from a tree. It's what I imagine autumn to smell like. So Autumn Hearth, Cure the Classic, Apple Cinnamon Tonka are all about four apple picking wander into autumn woods to gather golden apples and a dash of warm spice so i really thought smelling autumn hearth on cold i would not like it when it warmed though that cinnamon and apple started to shine through that deep dark red hot cinnamon and it was sweet it was pretty and the combination of these two was absolutely divine so it just goes to show that sometimes you need to warm a bar to actually get a opinion of it so i do believe we are now into these more pods okay so i did miss some pods so i had iridescent pearl going in the car that has since lost its scent, so I took that out. I think this might be Iridescent Pearl too. It's just got no label on it because one of the kids have taken the label off. So let's go into the main bedroom now. So this is what I would warm in my room. So I did a combination of Simply Rose and Thunderstorm in my room and thunderstorm is refreshing sharp spicy like the breeze in the storm and simply rose is the scent of pure rose so there is a bite to thunderstorm and there is a floral note to it as well it is fresh it is crisp like it says but there is this sharp bite to it it is my Scentsy Club and I'll probably keep it in there for a little bit because my husband asked me, is there any scents that smell like rain? And this is probably the closest to one that would smell like rain. So I'll keep it in there for a little bit for him. And I did mix it with Simply Rose, which is bam smack in your face as if you've grabbed a whole heap of roses and shoved them in your nose. I love this scent. I'm a floral fan. Now, my next Scentsy Club will have one coming, but I have since taken it out because I do have a stock up. And I just found I didn't enjoy it as much as what I do other rose scents, which are in my Scentsy Club and I have access to. I think this is very strong. Both of these were very strong. And I ended up doing half a bar each in my room with this combination. The combination was beautiful. But then because it was so strong, I moved the other half a bar, each of this, out to the open concept area. And because I was only using half a bar each, that was one bar where I'd normally do two bars. And it filled up that open concept area. Even when I had it in the bedroom, which was smaller, it drifted out of the bedroom, up the hallway into the open concept area. So these two bars together make for a very strong combination. 
and I'm still on the fence about how much I like Thunderstorm or not, which is the other reason I'm keeping it in my Sensi Club. Still undecided about that one. So in the bedroom, I did graduation. And this is pretty. It's quite perfumey, actually. I was expecting a deeper leather scent, and I'm glad it's not a deeper leather scent because I don't think I would have liked it if it was a deeper leather scent. I like that the apple in this brings out a sweetness. Crisp apple adds a fresh perspective to rich suede leather and vintage. I will say though, it was very soft. It was very light. I do have it in my Sensi Club. The next one I'm gonna let cure a bit to see if that makes a difference, but it was a beautiful bedroom scent. Soft, perfumey, slightly musky. So I did a bar of a love story, one of my staples for the bedroom, and it is jasmine, amber, and chocolate. So it's just a sweet, soft, romantic scent. You do get the jasmine and you do get the amber. I don't know that you get chocolate. I think it just adds a little bit of a depth to this scent, to be honest, the, the chocolate. I also did in the main bedroom a bar of stargazing. And that is star kissed petals shine through fluffy, fluffy cotton and soft vanilla clouds. Again, this is another soft one which I think might need more curing. I don't find it too strong, but it is very pretty. It's got like a smoky, incense -y type vibe to me. Perfumey and musky at the same time. It's being compared to jammy time. And I can see where they're getting that. It is quite comforting and relaxing. But the scent notes are completely different. I get more incense and more smokiness, a more deeper perfumey type scent with that one. So I did welcome little one in my bedroom. And that was softly billowy cotton blossoms and refreshing citrus cradle, a whisper of clean musk. So when it comes to a cotton blossom scent, 100 acre woods, hand down. This is pretty in the clamshell. It was okay when it first started warming in my bedroom, but the citrus note kind of overtook that soft, perfumey cotton blossom. And I just think the citrus note for this was too harsh for this. this won't be a wee purchase for me. I love 100 acre woods. That have got that combination down packed with the cotton blossom and the floral. That to me screams welcome little one, not welcome little one. Okay, so about June or July last year, I think it was, we got in a whiff box numbered scent pots, not coloured, not named. And what they were, were there were little samples for us to try of scents that they were thinking of bringing out to future catalogues or future release for us to give our opinion on, give them what we thought the color should be, what we thought they smelt like, and what we thought the name should be. And I still had a few sitting in my junk box, I call it. So I decided to go ahead and warm one. And I warmed this one and warming it, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this was a focus test version of Plumeria Peach. Warming it, all I could smell was Plumeria Peach. Plumeria Peach is in my Scentsy Club. I love it. So I kind of am thinking this was the tester for Plumeria Peach before they brought it out to our catalogue in as the scent of the month in April before they put that peachy colour, gave it the name or that jam 
spangle details. So I'm pretty sure this was Plumeria Peach and it's such a beautiful scent in bedrooms. So my daughter's room, I was talking about their birthday week. I wanted something vibrant, bright and luscious. When I said I put sugared strawberry in, I did it with Dumbo's Circus Parade. Now this is a bright, bubbly citrus with the sweetness of a peach and vanilla behind it. So it screamed celebration, it screamed birthday. And I did it with, finished up my lemon dragon fruit oil also in the diffuser at the same time. So this combination was beautiful. It lasted about four days in their room because my daughter's birthday fell on the 19th and my son's was on the 26th, so they're exactly a week apart. So I called it their birthday week scent, basically, and really love that. So in the bathroom and laundry, I had going palm trees and ocean breeze. To me, this is just a generic aquatic scent. Still had a few from the scent of the month kit, which I had to get rid of. Not Scentsy Club worthy for me. Not a repurchase, but I do have to get rid of what I already have on hand. So my daughter decided she was going to raid the testers that are discontinuing and my older testers and warmed the three bubblegum blast testers I had in her bedroom. And this is very fruity. It's also quite zingy reminds me a little bit of hubba bubba but it's got like this sharp citrusy zing to it kind of like a sh rainbow sherbet type scent she really enjoyed it it's not going in my sensi club so she will just have to enjoy the testers and hope it comes back next season so in the boys room I'm trying to get through little bits of what's in my little junk bucket because my testers are overflowing of old testers and then little cubes of things here and there that I've thrown in that need to be used up that I haven't got around to using. I had a couple of cubes left from the mixed collection of grapefruit and orange. Now, when I warmed it in the open concept area, it gave me a headache. It was headache inducing to me, too orangey, too grapefruity, and I think I had two cubes left from when we originally purchased it. So to use it up, I threw it in. My phone's telling me I ran out of space. So I threw it in my son's room where it's at the other end of the house and couldn't smell it to get rid of it. So I am now up to the oils. So I finished up my little tester of awesome apple oil. This is basically apples and cinnamon spice. So let's delve into what else i have been diffusing before my phone decides it's going to cut me off again so with Sale wonderland i've been warming from a company called echo orange and nutmeg and that's basically what it is very similar scent notes to what's in Sale wonderland minus the tree note so Feather and sandalwood is a go-to in my bedroom. It's coming back with the new catalogue. So it's basically woodsy and soft, pretty bedroom scent. With the rose and the thunderstorm scent, I was diffusing rose water and lavender. So you get the softness of the lavender and then the rose water kind of adds a little bit of sweetness to it. It's very, very pretty. Cardamom and vanilla is also another go-to bedroom scent for me with some of my softer bedroomy scents. You get the sweetness of the vanilla, but then you get that woodsy note from the cardamom. Coconut sugar I had going with the happy birthday bar. This is beautiful. 
I did pick up a bottle of this because it is discontinuing at the end of this month and I had quite a few customers pick up a bottle of this too after hearing it was discontinuing. So it's a good seller for me. I, a lot of my friends enjoy this scent as well as myself. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Blackberry and Basil. So I had that warming. I think I had that warming with Halloween or diffusing, I should say. Not warming. I had that diffusing, I think, with Halloween Town. So this was very nice to you get that herbal basil note but then you get that deep rich blackberry as well and this is also another all-time favorite of mine and as you can see i've finished off the little tester of that at some stage and i'm into the big jar that i've ordered so that is what i have been using at the end of this month i do hope you enjoyed my empties as you can see it became so much that it's surrounding me you can see it around me and i had to make room at one stage so now I can empty the basket and we can begin again. I am thinking of maybe, I have been doing it fortnightly, so I've been doing it twice a month. But I am thinking if it's going to get to this stage by mid-month and by the end of the month, maybe I need to start considering doing my empties weekly. So I'll play it by ear and see how we go, if it's big enough for me to do weekly or not. I just don't want to get to weekly and feel like I don't have much to talk about or that it's going to be a really, really short video, but I don't want it to be an overly long video either with too much. So I still haven't decided whether I'm going to go weekly or continue at twice a month yet. So if you've got some preferences, let me know. If you'd like to like or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. I hope you're all staying safe and have a great day. Bye for now.